Hello, my name is Vespianko. In this video we will have a look at the Cold Steel 8015 light folding knife. Uh, the item comes in typical blister packaging with some uh, information about the uh, designer and the uh, scorpion lock there. Uh, they uh, say it's everyday carry. Uh, pretty, pretty big for that, but uh, anyways. Uh, there we have some more information. The blade is always 10A uh, stainless steel, a bit better than 440C. Uh, polymer uh, grip with an aluminium uh, locking bar and there is the size and of course the website from Cold Steel. So uh, that item came out a couple of years ago. I did look at it. I like the, the lock design. But I never got around to uh, buy one because the price was uh, relatively steep. And uh, I saw that a while ago by Midways for like $48 with free shipping. So I say, yeah, we try that out finally. Uh, that deal is gone and uh, it's back up to uh, $99, which is already uh, quite a deal for what it is. So as we look at the item, what uh, Mainly is uh, interesting is the lock bar design. So we have the top part here in aluminium with the steel locking part that goes into the blade. So we have the aluminium that goes uh, together with the spacer and then it's hinged here with a, with a spring. So the thing basically lifts up and down. I have to reach a bit around the camera but I hope you see how that works. So we have the big slot with the metal pin there where it locks, so nothing uh, uh, too too hidden, it's, it's uh, easy to clean and all that. The aluminium part is strong enough with the spring uh, in here, uh, hidden, so uh, there is no way that the dirt can uh, go in it. Really nice, we have uh, solid uh, stainless steel liners and uh, polymer uh, grip with quite a, a texture. Uh, looks a bit like a, a diamond plate, but uh, it's pretty good. It's nicely rounded off uh, as well. The aluminium has some uh, contouring on it too. The inside here is a bit uh, on the sharper side, but but uh, it works out pretty, pretty well for uh, carrying. Uh, we have the pocket clip with three screws, a lanyard hole. Uh, the pocket clip you can reverse and uh, the whole thing is uh, built relatively beefy and thick. We have a thick uh, blade, double thumb stood, you can remove them. Uh, it's a flat ground blade, uh, relative uh, a thick uh, portion at the, at the edge. So that is not a, a blade for uh, fine cutting and slicing or whittling or something like that. Uh, this is more of a heavy duty uh, blade. We see also the thickness uh, towards the point is uh, relative uh, forward there. So so uh, yeah, uh, if you need a, a slicer or a, something that you can uh, easy cut the uh, cardboard with it, uh, that's not the knife. This is uh, more of a survival type uh, folding knife that you have a bit uh, a bigger, more beefy, heavier a uh, knife uh, with you. Uh, so for, for that purpose it's uh, really nice. Uh, what I don't like is that the clip is in a in a silver uh, color. It would be nice to have that uh, darkened out so it doesn't stand out that much in the in the pocket. Also the clip is not a deep carry clip so you have uh, about this much uh, standing out in the, in the pocket. It's easy to grab for that uh, matter but uh, it's not a deep carry clip. Uh, other than that the knife works absolutely uh, well, no problem at all. Uh, the opening motion is easy to close it. You can uh, either uh, with either hand uh, just lift the bar and uh, push the blade with one hand uh, or two hands uh, in the closed position. I have to reach a bit around the camera that's why that is a bit more awkward. But it works really well. The thumb stud is uh, uh, away from the handle, so you can easily uh, reach it, even with with gloves, as you wanna wanna open it and all that. We have a, a good beefy 
locking part there that goes all the way in the locked position there, really nice. Another uh, negative, uh, what you see in most of the videos is uh, that that part here is not flush fit with the, with the handle, it's part of the, of the blade. Uh, it could have been done really easy, uh, would not affect the function. For whatever reason they did not do that, so that is a bit uh, strange. Now uh, the corners uh, of the blade tang there uh, are relatively sharp, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna take it apart anyways and then I dehorn uh, the whole, basically the whole section around here uh, so that we have that sharp, relative sharp edge uh, gone and that will give you then also a bit uh, uh, easier uh, grip in the hand but other than that I would say uh, really nice the, the steel quality is good and all that so that that uh, works uh, the sharpening is maybe a bit on the rougher side there that can be still a bit improved a bit made a bit more uh, fine uh, by resharpening but that that uh, will come later anyway so yeah uh, I like the knife the size uh, just to compare it uh, we have here uh, the typical Gonzo there is a video on my channel as well uh, that is based uh, basically on an Italian design with an axis lock but we see uh, we have about a similar similar uh, size similar weight uh, now we have a, a slight slight uh, thinner blade not much but but a slightly uh, clip uh, in this case I already painted it there uh, that was a stainless steel silver color as well so, uh, and you get that, the Gonzo model in uh, different colors, of course, uh, you get that in black too, this is olive green. Uh, so, just for a comparison, I like uh, bigger folders, so uh, that's what I compare them with. And uh, for that reason, uh, I like that uh, too, the price would be good, but uh, uh, 99 is already quite uh, steep for what it is as the light version. So that much about the cold steel 8015 light.